Welcome to Bitboy Crypto. My name is Ben. Uh, today we're going to be talking about uh, what happened uh, in the Senate hearings today uh, with Jerome Powell as we sit on this couch. That's right. We have a couch in the studio. You guys know what that means. It's a place I can take a nap. Uh, but the fact is, guys, is Jerome Powell met with the Senate Bank Finance Committee today. Uh, from what I understand, he got absolutely hammered uh, by several members um, uh, of the uh, the committee and he was really pressed a lot of times, uh, which is good because in, in my opinion, he needs to feel uh, some pressure. He needs to feel some heat. He needs to have some accountability for creating this mess that we're in. Uh, printing money at will ain't gonna be the ticket, bud. Like that's gonna only hurt us over the long term, uh, which, you know, they're gonna go back to it at some point pretty soon. I, I think by the end of this year, they'll turn the money printer back on, but maybe not. Maybe, maybe the economy is a little bit worse than, um, you know, I gave it credit for. I'm not willing to say that for sure at this point, but I'm open. You know, nothing's guaranteed. Uh, I thought the worst of it, over, you know, I thought the worst of it was probably over. I don't know. Maybe there's some more bad stuff coming. I don't think Bitcoin's going to bottom. I think Bitcoin's already bottomed. Uh, even if the uh, larger economy does uh, take a tumble and take a hit, I, I think Bitcoin is stable at this point above 15,000, um, you know, hovering at 22. Two or twenty-two, three right now could go back down to eighteen or nineteen, but I don't think we'll see it go lower than that. Uh, so the the point is, what did he say today that was so pivotal that made Bitcoin absolutely dump, plummet, wick down, scam wick, whatever you want to call it? Well, basically, he said that the overall here's the only change in his language. He said the overall height of interest rates may have to be higher than previously thought. Now, what does that mean? I think he said he wanted it, uh, you know, four and a half to five percent, I think, before is what they were pushing for. Uh, I don't think we're going to get anything drastic here. OK, now, if the CPI numbers come out next month and they're insane, you know, we'll see what happens or later this month, whenever they come out, if they're really bad, if they reversed or going the other way dramatically, then, you know, an unemployment is still going uh, going down or staying stable. And we're not seeing the unemployment rise, which is what Jerome Powell is trying to force. Uh, then maybe we might see some, you know, bigger moves down the road this year. But I think he's probably going to still stick to the 0.25, the 25 BIP raise, uh, the 2.25 percent raise, if you will, per Fed meeting. Now, it was previously thought that there were only going to be two this year, two more, two more 0.25 percent raises. So what he basically alluded to today is that we may get more of those raises throughout the year. Now, look, it's not going to be dramatic. I don't think it's going to go to six and a half or seven percent. I think if the target's five percent, or maybe it's four and a half, four and a half to five percent. I, I don't remember everything I talk about, guys. If you didn't know that, um, the the fact is, is that it's probably only going to be maybe an additional two raises, maybe an additional percent at the most, like. Maybe it goes to 6%. I couldn't possibly see it going above 6.5%. However, despite all of that, the fact is, right now, the betting odds are still 70% that we get a 0.25% raise at the next Fed meeting. There's a 30% chance, the 30% odds, that it is going to be a 0.5% raise or a 50 bip raise. Now, in the history of this, uh, uh, in the history, in the recent history of interest rate uh, hikes, what we've seen is every single month since January of last year, when there's been a Fed meeting, the odds on betting favorite for the most likely uh, amount of the raise has won. Whatever the betting odds were, whatever the favorite was, didn't matter if it was 60% or 90% or 80% or whatever, or 70% in this case, the one with the best odds was chosen every single time. Um, and so the people that are betting on a higher raise um, are most likely going to lose. Uh, they've lost for, I guess, you know, I mean, I don't know how many raises we've actually done, but they've been losing since January of last year. So I guess you could say for 14 months, um, you know, they, they've been losing. So in my opinion, I think we're going to stick with that history until it changes. We're probably going to get a 0.25% bit raise. It's not going to be dramatic. 
And you're going to hear a lot of people panicking over the next couple of weeks as that decision gets closer and closer to be made. But overall, guys, I just, I just don't think there's a lot to worry about right now. You have to remember they're trying to maintain a balance and a semblance of normalcy in the economy for the elections next year. And that factors in a gigantic amount. So I think Jerome Powell will always choose to kick the can down the road. I'm waiting for that 2% uh, inflation rate on goods. That could be a checkered finish line if we were to get there, even though on other areas like services and housing, it's still up uh, a lot higher. 2% is the goal. That's where they want 2% inflation. But will they smoke and mirror that to basically twist and contort something to like, see, here it is. We got 2%. Now let's print some more money. Jerome, out, Jerome Powell, the, uh, the friendly, the friendly money printing Christmas elf. That's all I got, guys. Be blessed. Big way out.